Hi, and welcome to Easy Fishing. Now today, I just want to run through a, a basic guide for beginners to whips. Now, um, regular viewers will know that I actually love whip fishing. It's simple, cheap, and very effective. So, let's start off with the simplest. Now, the simplest and cheapest whips are telescopic glass fibre ones. I have two here, one at three metres, one at four metres. Um, they were very cheap. The three metre one was uh, £8.50, but that came with a, a rig and a disgorger, and the four metre one worked out at a penny under £10, so not expensive. Now, prices have crept up a little bit since then, but not by much. So, what do you get for your money? Well, with the three metre, it's a simple three section telescopic with a reasonably soft tip on the end to, because this is all you have to fight the fish with is the flexibility of the whip. This whip is fitted with a um, quick change Stompho type connector to make changing rigs easy and uh, it's about as simple as you can get and as cheap as you can get. Don't be fooled because it's simple. It's actually a really effective method of fishing under a lot of circumstances. And uh, I always recommend beginners, especially children, get started with something like this. Now, moving on to the four metre whip. It's exactly the same setup. Fully telescopic, of course. Has a flexible tip with a Stompho connector, quick change connector glued to the end. Um, slightly more versatile because it gives you more range for on rivers and running water, but still very cheap and effective. Now these two cheap whips are just that. They are cheap, but they're effective. They are available in lengths up to about six meters long, which in made in fiberglass they become quite heavy too heavy I would say for most youngsters but um, they're still very useful if you're on a tight budget a six meter glass whip uh, can become a very useful tool so that's the simplest whips covered let's move on to something a bit better or a bit different so moving on up the next one is a carbon whip again all telescopic this one's a four meter job, has a flick tip, but this flick tip is ultra fine and is basically like a quiver tip on a ledger rod. Again, a quick change connector glued to the end, but the fine tip enables you to use very fine lines down to one pound breaking strain 08 or thereabouts with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Is ultra light and anybody can handle one of these whips. Got a nice, this particular model is a Leader Concept GTX, dirt cheap. Uh, I think this one was about 25 pounds for a four meter whip. And quite honestly, you could spend a lot more, but one of these is perfect. Children can handle these because they're so light. If you're uh, disabled or an older person like me who maybe has a weak grip, they weigh a matter of ounces, very little indeed, and they're superb bits of kit. Now I have a range of these whips because um, of their versatility and their cheapness. I had them from two, three, four, and five meters in carbon telescopics. Um, the two meter carbon one I bought for my daughter when she was very young to learn fishing with, great, great bit of kit close range on canals, absolutely unbeatable. Uh, you see them get used in world championships a lot for fishing for small fish close into the keep net. So the next rung up the ladder are, I suppose you could describe them as flagship whips. Virtually every company uh, supplies one. The only company off the top of my head that I can think of 
is Matrix is the only one I can think of that doesn't supply one, but I could be wrong, and if I am Matrix, I do apologise. Anyway, onto these whips. These are generally known as Tele Take Apart. Now that is actually quite simple. What it means is that the top three sections are telescopic, the same as the other whips. Again, fine flick tip fitted with a, in my case, a Stompo connector, and these top three sections, telescope. The rest of the whip is take apart. In this one, it has another five sections on top of the top three tele, uh, telescopic sections. So this one extends to seven meters. Now, this is a very old whip. Um, I don't know exactly how old it is actually, to be honest, I think it's, um, uh, it's got to be 25 years old, I think, thereabouts. But well, it's my pride and joy as far as whips go. So you can extend these to fish any length you want. And they have one great advantage. You would normally start off at, say, four or five metres, and if the fish move down the river or out from the bank's edge, you can follow them and stay in contact, which makes them hugely advantageous. Now, I'm not going to say they're cheap, because they're not. Um, now, this is a pretty old whip, but uh, it's, it's set the benchmark for this kind of whip. Uh, one other option that you get with most of these is what is known as a hollow top kit, which is, again, it's a telescopic top three, but in, you can fit a length of elastic. Now, I have done so here. This is a light elastic. Um, you can take, remove the tip section completely, like this, this is the elasticated tip section and a lot of people and manufacturers run the elastic through this section, which basically makes them like a short pole. So again, very versatile. Now Drennan, their version, um, it's exactly the same setup as this, and they supply bushes to fit the start of the number two section and an adjustable bung at the bottom of this, so you can adjust the tension, and it all uh, fits inside the pole, same as normal, for packing away, so there's no problem. So, if you're seriously getting into whip fishing, I would recommend uh, that you consider one of these telescopic take-apart whips. They're very light and easy to use. They're not cheap, I guess. I think Drennan's and most of them sort of around about the 260 to 280 pound mark. And they normally come with the flick tip and the hollow tip. Um, others, uh, Tricast do a superb nine meter one, but that's 400 odd pounds or thereabouts. Dyer would do uh, a 10 meter one you, you buy it at eight and you can buy two more extensions for it, but that's, that's over 400 pounds. Probably discounted, you could get some knocked off. But if you're serious about whip fishing, give it a go. If, however, you're on a tight budget and you can catch a lot of fish on a cheap glass whip. Um, I did a video on the Thames recently with a six meter, they called it carbon, but it's not really a whip that cost 29 pounds off eBay, caught loads of fish on it, and I've done loads of videos using the telescopic glass ones. So there you are, it's a quick rundown, so you know everything there is needed to know about whips. And one other point, people think whips are for small fish. They are not. They are generally used for catching small fish, but if you go to the River Y festivals, you will see, and I guess the Seven as well, you will see a lot of anglers fishing these long whips with quite heavy elastic. They normally take the number one section out and elasticate the second section. And they land some very big fish. Now, when I tell you that they've had, I know for definite they've had barbel to nine pounds in a fast flowing river on a whip. It gives you an idea just how good these whips are. Uh, Tricast to a video where they actually show them catching carp on a commercial on a whip. Uh, their, um, their whip, it's nice whip, 
not cheap, but it just shows you how versatile they can be. So anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this and now you know all about whips and you can make your choices of what you want. So tight lines, bye for now.